In this video, we'll show you how to set up a new Google Home speaker and share some ways you can use it with other smart home devices. Let's get started. Once you have your Google Home, plug it in with the power cable. Next, you'll need to install the Google Home app on your phone or tablet. The app is especially helpful and guides you with step-by-step -step instructions. Apple users will need to download an additional app called the Google Assistant. This will let you set up more features through your phone or tablet. Next, use your Google account login information or create a new user ID if you don't have one yet. The Google Home app will automatically scan for nearby devices that are plugged in and ready for setup. Then, set up a device, then choose a location. Click Next. You'll hear a sound from your Google speaker to let you know which device you're setting up. If you want to send anonymous data that helps improve devices, select Yes, I'm in or No, thanks to opt out. Select the room you'd like to use the speaker in. You can also create custom rooms by tapping Custom and entering the information. This helps you identify and organize multiple devices. The app will prompt you to enter Wi-Fi information. Select your Wi-Fi network, type in the password, then select Connect. If you have more Google Home devices to set up, you can tell the app to remember the Wi-Fi network and password. This will save you time if you have more Google devices to set up. To avoid activating your devices at home, we'll display what you'd say instead of saying it aloud. The Google Home app will prompt you to use voice match so the Google speaker will recognize your voice. This allows the Google Assistant to provide personalized results. You can add up to six users that will receive personalized responses. Others can still use the Google Home, but only users will get personalized responses with voice match. For example, if two different Google Home users said, tell me about my day, back to back, they'd get different, tailored responses based on the appointments and reminders that they created. The Google Home app will also ask for your address so it can answer location-specific questions. You can skip this step, but you probably won't get accurate results when you ask about the weather or the traffic to work or businesses near you. Great, now you're all set up. You can start using the Google Home Assistant with your speaker. Next, we'll take a look at what your Google Home is capable of. Start by asking the Google Assistant to play music. To play music, you could say, play a cooking playlist. You can also ask about the weather, traffic, create and read calendar events, read the news, and create reminders and lists. You can also ask questions you'd normally type into a search engine. Try, how long do I boil eggs? Boil for six to seven minutes over medium high heat for perfect hard boiled eggs. Google Assistant keeps track of your activity in the Google Home app so you can review the requests and alerts. You can also review shopping and to-do lists in the account information section. On the Discover section of the Google Assistant or Google Home app, you can check out all the features of your smart speaker. The next step is to add smart home devices to control with the Google Home. To see which smart home devices are compatible with the Google Assistant, visit assistant.google.com or use the app. Each smart home device has a different setup process. To pair one with your Google Home, follow the device maker's instructions. That might mean downloading a separate app and following their step-by-step -step instructions. Once that's complete, open the Google Home app, select Add, set up a device, have something already set up, then search for the device information and follow the appropriate steps. You can give devices nicknames. To rename a device, select a device, Settings, tap the name field, then give it a name. If you've got a lot of one type of device, like light bulbs, these custom labels keep everything organized for you. The final step is setting up routines. Routines can activate devices and trigger a series of Google Assistant actions through a voice command or a schedule. One routine example is when you wake up in the morning, the lights in your house will turn on and it will disarm your security system. To create a new routine, go to the Google Home app select the Account icon, More Settings, and then select the Assistant tab. Then click Routines. You can use the default routines or create a custom one by selecting the Add button. Create a phrase for the voice command. 
If you'd like, set a schedule to activate the routine without your voice. You'll need to add actions to the routine by typing in a phrase or by selecting popular actions, which is a list of suggested actions you can select. Then tap save to enjoy the functionality of a smart home. The possibilities of home automation are endless. Our team of experts at Ace Secure Life have dedicated thousands of hours reviewing products that help you make your home smarter and safer. To learn how, visit the Smart Home section at asecurelife.com.